Rasty McGibbon with Purdue Northwest. Captain Andrew Reamer. Andrew, thanks for coming on 5 Minute Major. Thank you for having me. You guys have uh, weathered the storm. We were just talking before we went on uh, a, a, a tough game yesterday against Maryville. You guys came out the victor. Walk, walk me a little bit through that. Yeah, you know, that was uh, going into that. We got our got our scouting report, did uh, did the work, did the homework the night before. And, you know, I think we knew what we were going to get from them. They're a big, fast, hard-nosed team. Um, you know, they were in our face all, all night. And, uh, you know, I think we were able to just stick to the game plan the whole game. It was really simple, I think, was, was the big message. Win the blue lines, win the house, chip pucks in, chip pucks out. Uh, and, you know, put as much, uh, as much rubber on that goalie as we possibly could and be able to get uh, a couple power play goals and, and hold them off at the end. So that was, that was big. When, when you uh, have a game at this national tournament that is tight, do you feel that that really, um, you know, as if, if you were going to take that over a blowout, do you feel that that really gets you guys tuned up and ready to go for what's to come? Absolutely. I think so. I think that, uh, you know, obviously our first game got a little lopsided late with the, uh, all the power play goals, especially we had there in the third. Um, and, you know, that, that game being as tight as it was down the stretch, you know, and everybody was up on the bench, energy was high. Um, you know, our, our goalie, Cooper Olson, been, been fantastic all year and you know, nothing changed in that game. So I think that really, um, you know, we've been a team that's been able to rise to the occasion all year, um, this week included. And I, I think a game like that being that tight, um, that just, just showed, uh, showed everybody it's not going to be easy. Um, and, you know, if we can weather the storm and come out on top, even better. So. This is the uh, first national tournament appearance for you guys. Um, what, what, what was it like going into game one at this national tournament? I mean, you know, there's, there's lights, there's social media, yep. there's crazy guys like me interviewing people. What, 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 is, it, what is it like um, for you, just, just the experience of coming to nationals? Yeah, no, the experience has been awesome. This was, this was a goal, obviously, from, uh, from the jump to, from D, D2 to D1, a goal we had from last year, and we came up just short last year. So I think working all year this year just to, just to get here was, was a massive accomplishment, but I think we knew we had more in the tank. Uh, we knew we had a special group. So yeah, that, that first game, you know, we obviously wanted to come out and throw a couple of haymakers early and we're able to do that. And uh, yeah, just, uh, just stay up, stay one shift at a time, one game at a time. Um, don't want anybody to get too, too ahead of themselves and yeah, just keep doing the work and stick to, uh, stick to the process. What, what do you think it means to the boys? One, one thing that I'm very impressed with is the tremendous amount of school support yep. that you guys seem to get. I um, spoke with your, the school's athletic director yesterday. I spoke with your head coach. It seems that, you know, I'm not going to say that you have the most support of any men's do one, but I think it would be hard to find someone that gets more support than you yep. guys do. Can you speak to that a minute and, and how, what level of confidence it gives you at this national tournament? Yeah, no, that's been that's been huge, and we had it all year um, back. We play at the, the Cube in uh, Hammond, Indiana and the support we get at home games has been awesome um, you know other teams coming out softball team soccer team um, coming out to support us all year and, and nothing changed here we, we've got got the families in got uh, a bunch of the brothers and sisters and girlfriends and obviously like you mentioned our, our AD um, and our chancellor yeah, I think chancellor's here as well yeah correct yeah, yeah. and that's uh, you know that that support is that obviously doesn't go unnoticed I think uh, the boys love playing, playing in front of people, and you know, I think if you were in there yesterday, it got pretty rowdy, especially late in that game. And I think that was able to, to help push us over the edge a little bit, and uh, you know, just keep the boys motivated, keep us up. Um, yeah, it's been been fantastic. With with the um, appearance here at the national tournament and the success you've got had, do you think that it makes the sales pitch for um, you know recruits coming and playing so so much more attractive? I think it absolutely should. It, it definitely should. That's been uh, you know obviously I think that's a struggle in any team jumping from a lower level to to D1. I think is you know the recruiting can be tough, um, but you know, us I think showing who we are and showing what we're capable of has been massive and. Um, yeah, I, I think that should that should help attract some attention to the program, to the school, to the area. I think that's that'll be huge for us. Well, very good. Uh, I want to congratulate you on the Thanks. success you've had so far. Uh, you guys taking on University of Central Oklahoma here to boil the pool of eight down to four. This sure. is Andrew Reamer, captain, Purdue Northwest Men's Division One at the 2024 National Championship.